years ago, there was a um, magazine, it doesn't even exist anymore, and they did a special issue on what are, what are the major problems we have to solve in our society. And Norman Cousins, who was the editor of this magazine, said, the number two problem in the world is all these weapons of mass destruction. This was probably in the 60s. The number two problem in the world. And the number one problem is our inability to confront the number two problem. And um, and I've always thought that that was our challenge. So I, you know, the uh, the what we really need <laughs> is people who are willing to step up and take a piece of responsibility for our common future. There's a wonderful writer named Adam Kahan who writes about solving large problems. And he, in the 60s, we had a saying which was, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. It's a slogan on, you know, poster boards and whatnot. He turned, he's turned it on its head and said, if you're not part of the problem, there is no solution. Because the problems we face are so complex that each of us has a piece of responsibility for all of them. And so the, the challenge, I think, is for each of us to find that piece, those pieces that we can take and run with to move us in the right direction. And the challenge for leaders is to create contexts in which other people can see that they can be efficacious, that they can make a difference, that they can truly, if they put their mind to it, be part of not just the problem, but the solution. So, um, so I, you know, the, the thing to say to the people who may watch this is, first of all, just thank you for your willingness to even think about yourselves as leaders. I think of um, people who are involved with the science of improvement in healthcare um, as real heroes because here they, they've, they've chosen a profession, they're healers, they're caregivers. You could easily say, that's enough, I'm making my contribution here on this small scale and it's a, a profoundly valuable and important contribution and it is. But to say, in addition to that, I'm going to take some responsibility for the organization in which I'm practicing. I'm going to figure out how I can be someone who is creating a better context for everyone so that everyone can be bringing their very best work and that work can be having the very most powerful impact is asking a lot and yet it's what we need. So if you, there was a wonderful book some years ago by a sociologist named Robert Bella, B-E-L-L-A-H, and his colleagues, he writes, it's, and it's called the, the Good Society. He also wrote a book called Habits of the Heart, these wonderful books, but The Good Society, and it starts out saying it's difficult to be a good person in the absence of a good society. And they start out with the example of uh, you're walking along in the city and there are beggars on your right and your left and you have to decide, shall I give them a, a dollar or not? And either way, it's not the right answer because the answer is people shouldn't have to be begging on the street because the society has created this, dilemma, this moral dilemma for you as a person. So it's difficult to be a good professional in the absence of a good organization in the same way. So if you're a professional really con committed to quality of patient care, you know, to the to the constant improvement, continuous improvement of that care. Um, it's one thing to be toiling away in your corner of that. It's another thing to say, I'm going to take on the organization. And yet, if people aren't willing to take the organization on, it's really difficult or impossible for individuals to be bringing their best. So, from that standpoint, it's uh, just enormous admiration, respect, and and uh, just gratitude to the people, the young people, some of them maybe not so young, all the people who are willing to put themselves on the line to be involved in the work of trying to challenge others out of their complacency and to push them to 
do better work and be more effective and to challenge the bureaucracy and all of that, which is, which is very hard work. It's, and it takes years to make inroads and it takes a lot of collaborations and partnerships and keeping track of that all to be effective. But it is, there's nothing more important, it seems to me.